Hello everybody, it's Halima from uh, Afghanistan. I'd like to share my recipe for making mashed potatoes. Actually, I learned this from um, my uh, loving ex-husband. Um, basically, I have six potatoes, except uh, Americans, they just cut the potatoes in squares and boil it in water, but I think that reduces the flavor of the potatoes. So what I do is I... Um, um, I uh, boil it with the skin and then I remove the skin with my hand, you know, peel it after it cools down a little bit. And then now I'm going to add a stick of butter. What I do is I take the pot and put it over the stove because I want it to get a little bit heat for the butter to uh, melt. So the heat is on right now. And then you just smash this. Um, my son is stronger, so he's going to smash this for me in a second. Okay, I guess he's not, he's, he's too tired. Okay, anyway, so you just press this, and I'm trying to get the butter to go at the bottom. I'm going to put some salt, some black pepper. It's very simple, and I'm going to add a glass of milk in here. So... Here I have, actually it's a cup, a cup of milk goes on this, just a 2% milk. And then how much milk you put in it depends on how, how uh, smooth you want it. You know, one of my friends adds um, pickles yeah, with the mashed potatoes. I don't like the pickle in it. I mean, it tastes good. I'm just going to keep it um, the regular salt and pepper butter I use the um, really good grass-fed butter one one I put probably equivalent to like a stick of butter and then this is a good tool for smashing my potatoes it's all metal that it does a really good job and then you paste it to see how it tastes Oh. Can you give me the salt from up above? Yep. All right, so here's, I've been cooking, so excuse the mess in my kitchen. A um, little bit of a skin here, I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to sprinkle salt in here. This is the uh, salt with, it's iodized salt, sea salt with iodized, iodized sea salt. And you can see that it's, the heat is on on this. And you could put parsley or delivery in here too if you wanted to. Um, you can even add cheese in it, actually. That's a good idea. I do have some cheese in my... Here we go. That's the other secret ingredient, is the mild cheddar cheese. It doesn't matter what kind. I like the cheddar cheese. But you can put this kind. This is... Frozen is better to get. That's not... A frozen, so this is about uh, half a cup. I'm going to make it a cup. So a cup of cheese. It's going to be delicious. And um, I think the heat is on, so this will melt as I'm doing this. And then tomorrow for lunch, I will just put it in the oven. You know, next to my meat, I'm going to do brisket, but I'll show you guys. 
That's going to be at 225 for six hours, basically. I've already put the brisket rub on it. I just bought the regular brisket rub, added some garlic powder. I'm going to add a little bit of oil on it, and then just put it in a pan. Um, I heard people do it on the cock pot, too. But anyway, and then make sure that this gets mixed pretty well. And I'm turning it off because it's got enough heat to melt this cheese in it. You don't want it to be like too gooey, I guess. It's getting there. And then you taste it to see how it is. It looks like it needs more salt. And then I'm going to add some pepper. And um, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, beef bouillon powder too for taste. And a little bit of this. This is, this is delicious. I know whoever came up with the idea was... Very smart, the Kirkland organic, no salt seasoning. I'm gonna put just a little bit of that for flavor. And then it's gonna stay overnight. So I will hold all those flavors. And then I'm gonna put about uh, three fourths of the scoop that the beef bouillon powder comes with. And then you just taste it, see if this is not enough, then you add a little bit more. So, oops, I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to mix it up. I need another hand to hold this, but it's making noise. Sorry about the noise. And then, let's see. Mmm, that's delicious. Um, I think it needs just a little bit more milk. I'm going to add a little bit of milk in here. thought about like, adding flax, flax seed milk or coconut milk. I have done it in the past. I'm just going to add like a half a cup. And then... Mix it up, it's all going to be absorbed by the potatoes. And if you see potatoes that, like this one is with the skin, different color, just take it out. Sometimes it's hard to see the inside of a potato unless you cut it up. I mean, that's why Americans cut it up in chunks to see what's going on inside each piece. That's the other reason. Now I just decided, figured out the reason for it. <laughs> but anyway. So let me see how is this. Wow. It's so nice. Creamy. It's got the butter flavor, the grass-fed butter, and um, all the spices that I just added gave it really good flavor. This is so good. Anyway, y'all enjoy it and have a great Thanksgiving. I hope uh, if you guys make it, you enjoy it as well. I forgot the black pepper, but I need two hands to crush this, so I'm going to add a little bit of that too. All right, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching my channel. Subscribe, pass it on to your friends, uh, and have a great day. Bye-bye.